Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. Um, I have a mic, so hopefully you guys can hear me better. And today we're going to be looking at um, environments. We're working from the fourth grade science book called Environments, and invest investigation one is environmental factors. Part two, we're designing an isopod environment. And the question is, what moisture condition do isopods prefer? And the second question is, what light conditions do isopods prefer? And this is an easy experiment that you guys can do at home. So first what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to, I section off my um, isopod habitat into three sections, dry, moist, and wet. So I'm going to put dry soil on this side. and I'm not going to water that. I'm going to put some paper towels under the moist and the wet section so that the paper towel will hopefully keep the water from seeping into the dry section. And oh, and also I won't, I'm gonna add the, um, I'm gonna add some black construction paper to my habitat in order to block out some of the light to see, but only in the back, so that the front will get light, but the back won't. And all I'm gonna do is tape on some construction paper. I'm gonna put some on the sides. So the back half of the terrarium will only will not get light. Well, hopefully will be darker than the front. So the isopods can choose if they want to be in the front of the terrarium or at the back where it's darker. And you can get any kind of container that you have at home. We happen to have these containers in the science lab. But you can use some old Tupperware and either get some potting soil or some dirt from the backyard. So, and then I'm gonna put some but you want your container to be right, re, um, relatively clear so that some sunlight can go in, like so. And then next, I'm going to add some water to my moist and my wet soil. Here are my isopods. I got 10 of each, 10 pill bugs and 10 sow bugs. Little water to the moist to make this soil moist. Not too 
too wet, but at least moist throughout. Trying to keep it from going on top of the, the dry soil. Okay. And then I'm going to make this pot of soil wet. Now, if you don't have potting soil, you could just get dirt from your backyard. Just start off with dry dirt. And then add water, depending on what your condition, your environment you're trying to create. And there you go. So if you look inside, you can see that um, there's very dry soil on this side, moisture soil on that side, and very wet soil on that side. And when I cover it, you can also see that the front gets light and the back is fully covered. So we will see what, and then I also have a light bulb here that we will shine onto the enclosure in the front. to be like our sun. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in our isopods. I'm gonna put, uh, let's see, I have 10 of them. So I'm gonna put, let's four there, or maybe three there, four there. Uh, looks like they're flying everywhere. And some there. And then I have some, those are the pill bugs, and these are the sow bugs. I'm going to put four there, four there, and two there. Okay, and then we're going to put our cover on. We're going to put our sun on. And then we're going to check back in about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and we're going to look into our isopod enclosure. If you notice, we turned it, it turned it to the side so that only the, um, only the front side will get light. Uh, in the beginning when I started, I had focused the light in the front and the back was getting too much light. So this way, the back didn't get hardly any light. As you can see, when we look in, um, well, it looks like there are a few in the dry side, in the dry area. I count one, two, and there's one down there hiding. Um, well, there, now there's three, three in the dry area. 
and I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the moist area. And I count one, two, three, four, five, six in the wet area. Well, let's try um, another 10 minutes and see what we find. All right, so it's now been 20 minutes. Let's take a look at what our isopods are doing. It looks like there are a few in the dry. Um, I think they like the dry because they can bury themselves in it. So there's some in there, down there, down there. And um, there is a few in there in the moist, but there's one, two, three, four, five in the wet. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six in the dry, so far I can tell. Um, and one, two in the moist, but I'm still missing a ton of isopods. So I think they're all kind of buried. Um, what we can do is uh, we'll close it up and wait. Um, it still looks like they like the moist or the wet. One, two, three, four, five. There. But they do like to bury themselves in the dry, which they can't really do in the wet since it's um, more compact. So we'll wait another day and see what we see tomorrow. Hi everyone, Miss Patsy here. And today we're going to, che um, to check our isopod experiment and um, I rigged up this um, lamp stand so that all of our terrariums can get the necessary light since I don't have any windows in the lab. So I put um, all of the plant lights from the second grade exper brassica plants experiment and I um, stacked them up so that they our terrariums can get plenty of sunlight and um, so the grasses can grow. But I also put our isopod um, terrarium down there so that um, the, the front part can get the sun and the back part can get the shade. So we're gonna check in now to see um, where our isopods um, um, gathered. So let's take a look. Um, it looks like, well, it looks like they all gathered towards the back. They all like the back, but um, most of the pill bugs and sow bugs all gathered in the wet area. There is one in the moist area and there are about three or four in the dry dirt, but almost all of them are all back here in the wet area. So there you have it, our isopods like the wet and dark um, area of our terrariums. And, um, and that's the end of this experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something that you guys can do at home. And there are other um, uh, experiments that you could do with isopods. You can see if they uh, put maybe half of the terrarium on um, a heating pad and see if they like hot or if they and put the other half on um, maybe ice to see if they like cold and uh, another part just room temperature. But there's a lot of things that you can test with your isopods and I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Thanks and see you next time.